Hey everyone, how's it going? All Things Sports by Mike McIntyre here, and I'm here today to bring you a brand new video on the Adidas X 15.1. Now these are the X 15.1s in the synthetic version with the brand new Tech Fit collar. So this will just be a review video on the 15.1s. Um, I'll let you know all about the the materials used, the upper, the colorway. We'll talk about the sole plate. Um, you know all the all the tech specs and performance stuff you really need to know so this is gonna be a review video it technically won't be an unboxing because obviously I don't have the box I don't have the extras that come with the shoes because these are not mine so before I get into it all I would just like to say thank you a quick shout out a quick thanks to um, Andrew Bryan um, he plays on my team with me he got these a week ago or two week two weeks ago or so and uh, I asked him if he could, if I could do a video on them and 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 he was he was willing to let me, you know, just take the shoes home for, for a day or two to to get the video done. So, um, I just want to say a quick thanks to him because without him, uh, this video would not be possible. So, we'll get right into it. Um, right now, we'll just talk about the upper material, the sole plate, uh, the tech fit collar, all that stuff. Um, but just quickly first, I'd like to say that these do come with a string bag. So. If you go see um, any other videos on YouTube or or an, uh, an official unboxing, you'll probably see the string bag. It comes with a um, quite nice string bag, actually. It's like black in color with kind of this paint speckle pattern on it in a yellow. And if you can see, there's a bit of blue in it. So there's like yellow, blue, and black paint speckles on it. And it's got the this X printed on the front of it. And it's got this volty yellow colored string. So... Um, you might be able to find a picture of it on the internet and you might be able to see it in other unboxing videos on YouTube. So just so you know, it does come with a, with a string bag, um, but that is the only extra that you do get with the shoes. So if I were to do an official unboxing, I would show you the string bag. Unfortunately, I just don't have it. So it does come with a string bag. And then besides that, all you get obviously are the shoes themselves. So here are the shoes. Um, we'll talk about the colorway first. Obviously, they are this very bright yellow color. I guess if it was officially a Nike color, you could call it Volt, but that is what Nike tends to call their shoes, not Adidas. So I don't know what they're technically calling this, but anyways, it's like a Volt yellow with black. And it, if you can see this paint speckle in this new chaos graphic pattern, um, it's got a bit of blue in it. So it's very, very faint and it's just to add another level of detail, but it is there. So you've got the, 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 the yellow and the black and I guess if you want. I mean, that's not an official color, but so it's yellow and black, and, and that is officially the colorway. So you have, obviously, the main pattern is yellow. It's got these black accents throughout the, the, the chaos graphic here around the front of the toe. Um, and then into the sole plate, obviously, you can see it's it's a combination of black and yellow. We'll talk about the sole plate after and, and, and its stud pattern, but just for now, we'll just go over the colorway. And then you get the new Tech Fit collar. Um, in the X15.1, so that is the, that Volt color as well, and we'll talk about that a little bit later as well. <clears throat> now, if you can see, I just, uh, hopefully you can see this, if you can get a really good close-up view of the upper material, you'll see that it's almost like, the, it's got like this carbon fiber sort of graphic. It might be tough to see. Hopefully you can get a good view of it, but it's got this sort of pattern built into the, the synthetic material. So it's just a nice little touch actually um, that that gives a shoe a little extra detail, a little extra pop um, within the colorway. So that's just something to point out. And that is built, so that is, I guess, ingrained into the synthetic. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's it's ingrained into the synthetic material use, Adidas is using on the upper material. So without anything else really to talk about on the colorway, I just think it would be actually good to, to note that if you've seen the leather ones, um, maybe a quick way to, to tell the difference when you're watching on TV or something, again, it'll be difficult because you're so far away, but if you're ever watching guys on TV play and you're and you're trying to see all what shoes that they have, the synthetic version has this black sort of uh, trim, I guess, around the front, and the leather ones don't. So if ever you were to, because it's actually kind of tough to tell whether the whether a player is wearing the leather or the synthetic versions just by the dyna the I'll call it dynamic fit collar but technically it's tech fit collar 
because it is, it's, I mean, it's the same cut as a normal shoe, so you can't really tell, but the leather ones do not have like this black pinstripe or trim stripe around the front of the toe here. So that's just something interesting. I thought it'd be good to note. So anyways, the, the upper material is, is this new material by Adidas. Um, I think they're calling it their X synthetic or X frame or something like that. I don't remember what the technical term is according to Adidas, but it's this new synthetic material. And it's actually very, very nice. It's got this nice soft touch to it. It's, it's it's padded yet thin and it's soft and it's flexible and it's it's really nice actually I'm I'm quite impressed um, I didn't think it would feel like that but it, it really is it's almost it, it to be honest it feels very very similar to their their hybrid touch with a little bit of a different texture on top and we'll get it we'll get to that in just a second um, but it does feel somewhat similar to the hybrid touch with an, with enough padding there and enough um, you know element of comfort to to feel very very comfortable and from what Andrew has said about these shoes because these are his after all he says they're extremely comfortable they've been um very you know they've been they've been very good they're 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 a little wider i think than the previous f50 so in that aspect they're not fitting extremely tight obviously it's a tighter fitting shoe but they are wider than the previous f50 so they will fit more people i guess is, is, the, is a good way to put it so, I mean, the material is very nice, it's very soft, very flexible, and then Adidas has added this sort of their wet control element. I think they're calling it their X texturing or their X um, coating or something, something like that. Anyways, if you can see it when I zoom in or put this closer to the camera, it's got these little, little dots all around the, the shoe on, on the entire surface of the upper, and you can feel it to the touch, and that's why I said I'll get to that in just a second, because... The touch of the, of the synthetic is very soft and sort of feels like the hybrid touch, but it's got it's got these little dots on the top to add extra grip um, when you have your touches on the ball. So I don't know how effective that will be, but it does feel quite interesting to the touch, at least when I rub my finger across the front of it. So it's just something I thought would be worth noting. So anyways, that, that is the upper material. So that is the entire upper is covered in their X skin or whatever Adidas is officially calling it. And then they've given you this brand new tech fit collar obviously i guess it's to to conf to compete with nike's dynamic fit collar but this is a bit of a different idea if you can see um it, i mean it obviously it's to provide a sock like fit but obviously it's not as high as the dynamic fit collar and it goes right under the cut of your ankle and it does provide this very unique lockdown fit and and i think it's quite interesting um I'd be very curious to get a, a pair of these in my size just to, to see how it feels. But um, from what I've read and what I've heard and what Andrew said about them, I think it's quite comfortable. So it's got this tech fit collar on the top and it's very interesting in the back here. Um, this is all stitched to the upper so it's as if it's almost, I mean you can probably feel that tightness around the ankle but this part of the shoe is very similar to a normal cut soccer shoe even if it didn't have this because it's all, if you can see, I mean that's all attached there. That's very, very fine and it's just like an extra layer of stitching. So. Um, I, I think I've also read that it, it it's going to provide a, a decent amount of stepping comfort, especially in this heel area. Now, I have heard that some people say, oh, it feels kind of um, slippery or not grippy is the way to put it. But I don't think that will have any effect on, on shoe slippage at all in the heel because I think this it will be tight enough, especially when you tie the laces, that this will be tight enough to prevent any sort of slipping in the heel. And then should that be the case, I mean, just get a pair of true socks and uh, you're good to go. So. So that's the tech fit collar, and then it's also worth noting that it doesn't it doesn't go throughout the entire shoe. It's just attached here around the outside, on the uh, on the edge of the shoe of the heel, and goes up around around this part. But it's just attached to the tongue. Now I'll pull the laces out of here for a second, and then if you can see in there, I mean it's it's attached. So it's attached to the tongue, and then if you can see, I can fit my finger through there. So it's separated. It's just attached a little bit to the tongue to keep the tongue in place. And then provides that lockdown fit around the ankle, and that is basically it. So it's not, in in a sense, it's really not like Nike's Dynamic Fit collar at all because it doesn't, it doesn't take over the shoe, for lack of a better way of putting it. It's just enhancing the experience. I think is a nice way of putting it. So I think for that reason, Adidas did a good job. I'd be very very curious to see how these actually perform on my own foot. Um, maybe one day I'll get a pair myself, but for now I'll just do the, the review on Andrew. So. I think um, I think this tech fit collar is going to do a lot of good for them. I'd be very very curious to see how it 
how it how I think it feels. So, so that's the Tech Fit collar. Like I said, it goes around there, attaches on the tongue, and then we'll talk about Adidas's. Is, um, well, I keep calling it the Chaos Graphic. I think that's originally what it was called and designed to be, um, because at one point the whole shoe was called Chaos. But anyways, this is Adidas's. Is, well, it's their it's their support element in the shoe. It's the way of 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 giving the X um, its responsiveness, its support, its uh, lockdown feel, I guess. So this is, they've they've implemented a a system here where that where it prevents the shoe from from twisting and and reacting when you're making hard cuts and changing direction and running around. So I guess in in a way it's similar to Nike's uh, Brio cables or Flywire or whatever you want to call it technology. So that is the this this pattern essentially will. Uh, as you can see, it, tie, it goes all the way down from the base of the sole plate into the laces. So when you tie the laces, it provides that lockdown feel. Your foot isn't going anywhere. And it's the way of Adidas implementing their sort of support cage, I guess. Um, it's very interesting graphic. I mean, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I don't think anyone is. But I think it actually looks cool. I was kind of skeptical about it when I first saw pictures of the shoe. I was like, oh, what is that? But... But in the end, I mean, it's grown on me. I don't, I don't mind it. I guess it's not my favorite thing in the world, but I don't mind it at all. I think it's overall, it ties in well with the shoe, and it looks. I mean, the shoe looks good overall. So, so that's essentially what that graphic is. I mean, it does look kind of funny initially, but as you can see, it goes into the sole plate and into the laces, and it does provide that lockdown fit in the shoe, so that you're not going anywhere and you can change direction and and really not have any trouble with that. So that is what the graphic is, and then I guess the last part that we really need to discuss is the is the sole plate. So Adidas has broke through with this idea of having a firm ground slash artificial ground stud pattern. So that's what they've tried to implement here. So I mean if you can see with the one, two, three, four, five, six studs in the front, it's very similar to the old Adidas F fifty. Um, the studs are a little different in shape, but they are somewhat sim similar, so we have these six larger ones in the back, and they're famous four, excuse me, four studs in the heel. So that will provide the the initial traction on the firm ground surface, let's say. And then they've they've added this almost second level of studs. You have these two little ones up here. You've got five that run ac diagonally across the the midfoot here, and then another one, another little one right there. So so that is supposed to add an extra level of grip, an extra level of traction, and I guess balance out the the stud pressure on on the sole plate when you're playing on different types of surfaces. So, when you're playing on artificial grass, I mean, obviously it's it's a little harder than than a, a very nice natural grass surface. So it's it's a little tougher on stud pressure. I mean, that's the idea. So when you add a second level of studs that even out the stud pressure, it's supposed to one be more comfortable, two provide different levels of traction, better levels of traction, I should say, and three in a sense be safer because artificial turf I mean it's very easy for studs to get caught particularly bladed studs that's the problem with bladed studs on turf um, to be honest I've played with bladed studs on turf I've never had that big of an issue I think it's overhyped to a certain extent right now because turf companies have have taken that into consideration when they're making the turf so more and more now you see that turf is almost safer than than some uneven natural grass surfaces to be honest um, anyways, but Adidas has made this pattern now to, in order for players to play on both. So you get one shoe, and technically it's it's good for for both firm ground and artificial ground. So I'll be very curious to see how this is. From the feedback I've heard, um, I, apparently it's worked quite well. I don't think it will be as um, effective as the Ace. If you've seen the Adidas Ace shoe, where it's got all conical studs, and then it's got tons and tons of studs that run through the midfoot here and then they they plug in the gaps between the larger studs I think that will be even more effective just because of the number of studs it almost looks like a turf shoe however I think this will still be a step in the right direction for that hybrid between firm ground and artificial ground so so that is my review on the stud pattern um, I think it, I think it does quite well I mean from what I've heard it has very good levels of traction it's comfortable there's no stud pressure so um, I think it's going to perform quite well, and then to be very honest, I mean, like I said, these six in the front and four in the back are fairly similar from to what we've seen on previous F50s, and those stud patterns were fantastic. I've, I've, I mean, I played in them myself. I they're they were 
implemented on all four of their their silos. So they were they were they were great stud patterns. So I mean they've kept it somewhat similar. Like I said, the shape is a little different, but they've kept the overall um, idea of that stud pattern and implemented it into this one. And then they just added that artificial ground hybrid idea. So I think this stud pattern is going to be fantastic. I have no doubts in my mind. And uh, that's it about the stud pattern. So that's pretty much it about the shoe. Um, I've gone over pretty much all the upper materials, the colorway, the stud pattern, the tech fit collar. And um, I would like to try them on for you, obviously. But as you could probably see, these shoes are way too big for me. So <laughs> I won't be able to put them on for you so you can get a good on feet por uh, an on, feet on foot look, I should say. But... Uh, but I hope you got enough from the video. I hope you liked the review. I went over anything. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Leave them down in the comments. I'll try and get an answer out to you. Um, if you enjoyed the video, guys, leave a like. It really helps me out. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And stay tuned for more videos. There will be a lot more coming up shortly. we got some new cleats lined up so I can get some um, reviews out for you. So that is my video on the Adidas X 15.1. Brand new shoe from Adidas. And to be very honest, I think it looks great. And it's been doing pretty well as far as on-pitch support. So so one, once again, that is the Adidas X 15.1. And stay tuned, guys. There will be some more videos coming up. Thanks very much for watching, and take care.